Well, hello there, guys. Today, we finally get to take a look at Microprose's second front. Now, this is going to be a World War II tactical strategy game unlike any other. It's already got a lot of really promising features, specifically a play-your-own scenario, an edit scenario area, as well as a garage where we can actually take a look at all of these vehicles up close and personal. I really love this. Uh, we'll take a look at different Panzerkampfwagens, etc. And right now, it looks like there are plans for all sorts of different armies. Um, the Soviet Union, the Germans, the Americans, maybe we'll even get the British in time. But you can already see there are a number of different unit types, vehicle types, etc. Now, I would love to know in the comments down below what you guys think of the somewhat cartoony look. Uh, do you like it? Do you dislike it? Etc. I think that really makes or breaks a lot of games like this. But in terms of the tactical or strategy aspect, man, it's looking really nice. It really is. Now, we're going to back out and actually play a battle. We currently only have one battle to choose from because this is super early access. But of course, the fact that people can actually make their own maps, edit and design scenarios, I think that's already really promising. As always with a game like this, I would ask that you guys like and comment. It doesn't matter what you comment, be as random as you want to be, uh, and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. That being said, we're going to jump into this battle over here, the mill, and you can see there are a lot of battles still to be added. Uh, there are also German battles to be added, and of course, Russian battles. Now we get a picture of the battle. We also get a description of the forces and a description of the battle itself. Well, let's jump into the Fallet's pocket and see how we do. Now, you know what this game actually reminds me of? It reminds me of a the game Valor and Victory. Um, it's sort of like a board game and you can, of course, get a digital version of it. Um, but essentially, um, we've got some units on the field. We've got a set of moving and firing phases and we also have to make sure um, to essentially keep um, these units close to their officers so that they don't get shot down but the enemy also has a reaction phase so for instance these guys are in a really bad way uh, pretty much if we move towards the enemy in any way whatsoever we're going to get shot to bits the interesting thing though is in this particular fight with private first class right we actually need to try and take these buildings. They currently have the victory point locations. So what I'm going to try to do is get into the woods quickly, uh, and we're going to rush in there. We're not going to stand. We're going to rush. Um, we did actually just get one hit, <clears throat> one broken, and one pinned. And what this means is that the broken one will actually have to flee next turn. He's going to have to roll a dice to see if he can flee. If he can flee, but you can see. This position was looking pretty rough, and no matter what we did, uh, we need to still try and get into those woods, but it's going to take a little longer. Now, with this group, I've got the same idea. I'm essentially going to try to just get into the woods as quickly as possible here um, and take up a defensive position. You can absolutely stack your units, as you see here. And it looks like we've also got a shot with a sniper here. Both shots look pretty terrible. This is 7%. I'm going to go for that 7% chance and take a shot there. We did miss the unit, um, but at least we didn't get hit ourselves. And I am going to get a little bit closer here. Again, just slowly getting to that location. Looks like the enemy's actually going to return fire. Now, that stand lets us know that the officer actually kept the guys fighting. Um, so force them to basically stay put. And this is the idea. Um, what I'm going to do is actually crawl into this next position. We're just going to try and hit this location with as much fire as possible from all around the area and essentially force them to vacate the building. Easier said than done, and as you can imagine, they get a defensive bonus in there, so it is really easier said than done. Now again, I mentioned there are going to be separate phases. When we go here, it's going to be the German fire phase, so from these buildings, they of course get a chance to fire. Then there's going to be an additional movement phase for us, and this is actually the chance that um, we get for our routed guys to run into the woods. This is kind of a bonus in the sense that the goal here is to rally these guys, which is quite likely, and then we can bring them back to the fight. If they get completely shot down, though, there's obviously very little we can do. So this advanced phase allows us to move forward one more tile. Um, I'm actually going to take that tile right there so that we can start firing at the enemy this turn. And with private first class right, um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to boost him over here into the woods. 
eventually just his presence might keep these guys put so that is something to consider and let's also get these guys a little bit closer to firing at the building as well i probably want to just circle this building completely and start lighting it up we've worked our magic and turned a few things around folks um we actually did get hit over here but we brought these guys in safely um, on that reboot, let's call it. Uh, the goal now is to show you guys how we can actually spread the units out and, of course, try and spread that fire around. That's going to be the goal here, is to try and knock these guys out of these locations. Now, one thing we can do, see, we can just select individual units and kind of move them around. So that's what I'm doing here with these veterans. I'm just putting them on different tiles, and the reason is I think this will maximize not necessarily the rate of fire, but... Would it, would it be the scope of fire? Maybe would be the, the appropriate term here. Uh, and we're going to get our elite units out here at the woods. Because I don't think it is safe at all to just charge across the field here and attack the enemy. Nor do I think it's even going to work out in our favor. One thing we could do is maybe... Maybe? Really? <laughs> really, Agrippa? Maybe just overwhelm the enemy with fire. And hopefully that will be sufficient. So you could see the different phases here. The melee phase would be a thing if we were in melee combat, but we're not. So that will be skipped. And of course, the recovery phase is for any unit that retreated the last turn or was broken the next turn or any other sort of minus uh, that may or may not affect them here. There we go. Two more Germans moving forward. We're not going to be able to do much to them since this guy is pretty badly broken we actually lost two men there can we zoom in not yet it seems uh, but we do have a firing phase and we might as well take advantage of it although again at two percent um, chance of a hit it's unlikely that we hit them um, but even with that small chance we've got to stick to it so there we go still a miss now that actually went up to eight percent so it's getting a little bit better um, in this case seven percent I'm not sure if that's because it's a smaller wooden house but it does seem like we have a higher chance to hit on this house eventually one of those bullets is going to get through at least i hope so how about one more shot over here five percent chance even the sniper's missing but of course patience is a virtue and that's certainly the case in this game so now with that firing phase over uh we've got another escape phase this time for the germans and another movement phase one thing they might do after taking shots in that part of the building is they might move to a safer part of the building. And there we go. Um, the danger here is they could just keep doing that. And with that defensive bonus, we never get a chance of getting in the building. So no matter how dangerous, we are going to have to probably move up to this part of the building and start firing. Um, and I'll show you guys how that works out or if it works out. So now it's going to be our move in fire phase. Uh, the first thing is we've got to stop this unit here as a threat. Broken and weakening, pretty good. Uh, not perfect, but the next thing we have to do, and this is the dangerous part, is we've got to move this unit over here. There's no way around it. The fact is, if we want to deal with the enemy, we've got to get in that building. And there we go. One of our guys broken. One of them made a stand. I am going to move in with another unit. That's right and just try and maximize our units in this area they did make a stand here again though that five to eight percent still not getting the best results against the enemy but any chance i get to take that building i'm going for it right now while we're open here uh, and while we get that opportunity i am going for it there we go again now this time the enemy officer actually got them to make a stand but look at that look at that close combat fight right there guys it doesn't get much better than that I'd like to bring in that officer too, or excuse me, that private first class. He's not an officer at all. Uh, in fact, the highest ranking guy, I think, on the field right now is um, potentially that um, lieutenant. Or excuse me, not that lieutenant, that's that sergeant. Uh, so that's pretty terrifying to say the least. Now, one thing we could do, we could move forward over here. I'm almost certain they're going to send these units into that building. Or we can try and just stay put and open fire. And I think that's what we're going to do. We'll keep some units back here. We actually managed to break two of the enemy infantry. Pretty magnificent result. But is it going to continue? We'll have to wait and see. 
Now we're in the fire phase. They are going to get a chance to send us scurrying from here. Although I think only their officer there, in fact, he's just a corporal, um, is going to stick around. But look at that. Our officer's routed too. Uh, that's pretty embarrassing because our men, um, most of our, or two of our units, stayed put brave enough to stay put, but our officers ran away like cowards. I keep calling them officers. These are really just sergeants and private first class, but nonetheless, I am a little disappointed about that. Now, as for the advanced phase, yeah, we want to definitely move one of our elites. Um, and these are elite infantry. That might be one reason they didn't run away immediately. We're going to move them onto the victory point and hopefully hold this area for a while. I'd like to even start moving forward with this unit just to get to that building location, but I'm afraid we're going to take shots from across the field, so let's do something like that. Yeah, that looks a little bit safer. I'll even risk moving forward here, although this is ultra risky, but it's just to get into that building as soon as we can. Now, there's no melee phase because none of them stuck around, but there we go, a nice little victory. Um, and that's just an example of a very short but sort of... Um, you know, um, intuitive battle in the game. Of course, this one only involves infantry, but there are going to be all sorts of vehicles in the game. You saw that before. So this is just a small example of what you could have. Pretty much just a small skirmish for a mill that nobody ever really hears of. Um, one of those unknown battles of World War II, but a really cool one nonetheless. And I think it's very promising. I see a great future for this game. Man, I hope that they continue with this and, um, and hopefully make a real winner. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to get some feedback and other people's opinions. There's a lot of World War II stuff coming out these days. Um, what do you think of the cel-shaded graphics? What do you think of the sort of tactical um, order phase? Uh, let me know. And thank you so much, guys, for being so supportive.